The universe is big, bigger than we think, it is home of at least billion of galaxies, a trillion of stars that held together by gravity. One of these galaxies is the Milky Way galaxy. Our home. And the Earth is located in Orion Star Cluster. Earth is the only known planet and universe capable for sustaining life. But there's a cross-planet beyond our solar system, that orbiting within the habitable zone of Proxima Star. The Proxima Centauri B. The Proxima Centauri Star is part of the Alpha Centauri System, which forms a three-star system. Proxima Centauri is the nearest star from us, at about 4.2 light years away from us. Proxima Centauri named such that, because of its proximity, these stars are almost certainly gravitational bound called the Alpha Centauri A, and Alpha Centauri B, which hold together as a binary system. But how far is star? The Voyager 1, is the farthest man-made object from Earth. It is traveling at 17 km per second, but it won't reach the planet for another 70,000 years. Even the speed of light, the universal speed limit, will take 4.2 years before it can reach there. But if we could build, or invented a newly incredible technology, that can travel faster than our current technology, we can reach this planet within our lifetime. Let us move forward to Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri is a dim, small and low mass star. It is about 12% the mass of Sun, and 15% the radius of the Sun. In this star there is a planet orbiting around. The Proxima Centauri B, that orbiting within the habitable of the said star, at a distance of 9 million km. With the right atmospheric temperature for water to exist, and become the key elements for life, that can grow and reproduce. But all of those elements were stripped out to its surface 10 million years ago because of the devastating stellar wind. The Proxima Centauri B is 1.2 times the mass of Earth and almost the same diameter. The Proxima Centauri will complete its revolution in about 11.2 days, but since the planet is closer to its parent star, it is more likely tidally locked, which means the same side is always facing to the star, and the other side is covered in complete darkness and suffering from extremely cold temperature. The Chrysoplanet star is an active red dwarf star that hit the planet 2,000 times the amount of stellar wind the Earth received. The full habitability of this planet has not been established, but the astronomers is looking forward for this in future.